Hello, Internetians. My name is Josh, a.k.a. Ultra Player, welcoming you to the ABC League Season 2, I believe. Season 1. Season 1. Yeah, Season 1. I am the coach of your New York Metagross 0-1 after our 4-0 loss against Gardevoir last week. Should have EV Celebi to take that, but uh, it's how life works sometimes. Anyway, this week we are facing off against Ollie and his... Uh, something Infernapes. I can't remember. I can't remember the name. It's on screen. You can see it in the title. That's the important part. Anyway, he's rocking a really good team. He is also in one, and his team show up should be right there. The Superior. Uh, we know all about Esmon's simple shell smash, sheer force, very scary. Uh, Infernape doesn't get too much extra. I get like some random stuff. I guess Ice Punch, which is interesting. It gets. Uh, in prison if he really wants to, but it's still just a very big threat in general. Mega Gyarados, uh, Megas do not get their uh, G abilities, they only get G moves, so we can't use um, uh, like Galvanize or anything, it has to use uh, Mole Breaker, which is still really good, Mega Gyarados is still a threat. Ursaring, one of the unaware mons, very good, still very strong, 130 base attack, uh, kind of hard to switch into, especially since it packs EQ as coverage. Alakazam, adaptability, Holy shit. <laughs> Especially since it doesn't have to run Focus Blast because it gets uh, Aura Sphere. So that's kind of scary. It gets a couple other really interesting ones, but Adaptability and Magic Guard are still probably its best shots. Uh, Registeel, Regenerator, Recover. Fuck. Registeel became... I can't believe it lasted to what the, whatever round it went. Like It's so good in a format like this just because it can actually recover. It can... Uh, has Regenerator, it gets a bunch of other stuff, I can't remember, but basically what you really want is Recover Regenerator, and that's what's probably going to be run almost every single week you bring it. Tentacruel gets stuff like Tail Glow and Trick Room and a bunch of other stuff. It's one of its Rapid Spinners, just like Registeel, and Minior gets Defog? Mm. Articuno gets Defog, I believe, so there's that. Speaking of Minior, it does get Shell Smash Minior with Magic Guard if you really want, so it can't Toxic you. Uh, I believe you have to have Shield down, though, so I'm not entirely sure. So there's that. But uh, it still gets some interesting attacks. So I have to be careful of that. He has a Wobbuffet. Shadow Tag is legal on that, so that's kind of... Uh, I have to uh, plan around that very carefully with some of, some of my mons. Uh, Articuno, Adaptability is very scary on that. Uh, it does have the 4 times weakness to Rock, so I do want to prioritize getting them up. He does have a good Rapid Spinner, though, so... Even more annoying. Uh, Cradilly. Uh, is not coming. I'm almost positive. I mean, it can do a few things. Sorry. I think my face is bugging me. Um, it can do a few things, but, like, it's not going to be that good. And it's matchup because it gets hard walled by, uh... <sighs> I'm a gear now. And potentially Snorlax, and potentially a lot, a lot of other stuff. It does get Contrary, so that's nice. It gets um, Corrosion, too. I was trying to think of some of the abilities. Uh, but that's all I can really think of. Jirachi also doesn't get very uh, a lot of it, like extra stuff, but it's still a Jirachi. So, I don't really know what a Z-Mon is. I don't think he ever announced one, so we're not going to have to worry about Z-Moves, I don't think. Anyway... That's a team. Uh, key Threats, definitely, definitely, definitely a defensive Registeel. It takes on my team very well. Uh, Wobbuffet can be very annoying. Um, Infernape is a big threat. So those three I can expect to come. Minior can come if it really wants to. Um, so Infernape, Registeel, Wobbuffet. Uh, Alexam is a really good revenge killer. Potentially Mega Gyarados. And then the last one, Tentacruel, maybe Jirachi. I'm not really sure. Anyway, moving on to our team. The first one we are bringing is going to be a Defensive Magirna because Defensive Magirna is my favorite kind of Magirna, apparently. Uh, he is the coach of the Ipswich or Inferned Apes. I think that's how it's pronounced. You can see it on the lit. You can see it on the screen. Whatever. It's fine. Anyway, uh, I will try to remember what these spreads do, but I do not guarantee a damn thing. Because it's been a while since I've used had to use these spreads. Uh, the speed. Okay. 
The speed is to make sure I outspeed a max speed Wobbuffet, because I had a nightmare about that. And the Spadef allows me to take hits from the special Jirachi from Ursa Ring. I know I can, well not Ursa Ring, but uh, I can take an Ursa Ring Earthquake and fire back a Flash Cannon if I want. I also am using this as a pivot against stuff like the Alakazam. Because I can take hits from that, I can fire back a Shadow Ball if I want. I can take a plus two Earthquake from the Mini War if I really want. Uh, I do very well against Superior. And he can't Toxic me with Cradilly's, uh Well, he can't Toxic me with Cradilly's Corrosion. But I'm Magic Guard because I don't want to get burned. And I don't want to get Thunder Waved. And I don't want to take Hazards. Because he is a Superior. Which can set up Spikes. Which is no bueno. Anyway, Milk Drink to stay healthy. Uh, Magirna, just an overall good mod, in the, uh, really a good mod in this format, a really good mod in this match. Uh, I do know what this does, though. This is my Tapu Lele, and this is finally what, uh, it only took two weeks, but I am bringing this, uh, set. I'm still running Psychic Surge, because it's Tapu Lele, and Psychic Surge is just broken as hell. I mean, I could be running, uh, Tinted Lens one day. I could run, uh, Triage. Which I almost ran on Top of Fini, but Top of Fini does not get rest. <sighs> anyway. Trace uh, gets a couple of interesting stuff, but Psychic Surge is just so good. We have a Silk Tail Glow set to be able to come in on something like the Tentacle. Or something else that I can really scare out. I can sub up on it as I force it out. And to the Registo, I think. Go for a Tail Glow. Hmm. Actually. Would I really want to do that? I don't know. It, we'll see what I uh, click. But it, either way, Tail Glow and Focus Blast is going to be really nice. Just because I can destroy that Registeel just like that. Because Registeel is kind of a problem. For some of my other mods. I mean, it comes in on my Gearna so well. It comes in on uh, Vernon Frost so well. Can you see? Yeah. I mean, it would come also come in on stuff like potentially Drapion pretty well. It could come in on uh, Tepafini really well. It could come in on Selgor really well. Celebi really well. So, breaking that down is going to be really nice. I have enough speed to outspeed. God bless. I hope this is enough speed for a base 80, it looks like. Why am I running this much speed? Who knows? Uh, because apparently I want to lose to Articuno. I don't know. Uh, I'm investing that much more so I can outspeed Gyarados, though. I. Okay. Well, people are deciding to be loud out there. Um, who knows what I run? Who knows what that speed is for? Hmm. I had a very specific reason for that. It might have been an adamant something. Hmm. Hmm. Why did I run that? To outspeed something speed creeping my... Who knows? Whatever. It's outspeeding Gyarados now. Moving on. We have our Pillow Pet once again. Uh, just a fantastic, fantastic mon. EV spread, 4 in attack, ensures that I 2-hit KO something with Wild Charge or Sacred Fire. Shore up to stay healthy, especially in the Sandstorm if I really want, and Sap Sipper means I wall the Superior. He could bring Hazard Sack, but I think I'm bringing Defog. Think. Anyway, Fire and Electric is really good against his team. He doesn't have a resist to both of them, so that's nice. Uh, Wabatha would be really scary for this, but, um, I believe I can beat it 1v1. Who knows? It outspeeds me, but I can't really afford for it to not to because I need all that bulk so I can hit, take hits from the Alakazam, and I can take hits from the, uh, uh the mainly the Alakazam. I can take hits from the Articuno, I will Superior, I can take a hit from Ursa Ring if I want, I, I can take a hit from Ursa Ring if I really want. I don't remember this team. If you couldn't tell, I built this team a very long time ago. But anyway, I still think it's really solid. Choppleberry, so I can take one Focus Blast. Because if he's a Life Orb, something Alakazam, Focus Blast is potentially to a KO. And I can take Close Combat from the Ursaring. Uh, yeah. 
All right. So next we have our Rodent Frost for Generator. Uh, I want to stay healthy. All right, sorry. I have another draft going on because, I, I don't know, I'm addicted to League. And I'm in five leagues right now, ABC, DBGA, which you guys won't see, or DGBA, uh, the ABC, DBGBA, the MLP, the UAPB, and then the new one. Uh, the new one is the reintroduction of the PML, which is really lit. Anyway, Blizzard, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, and Trick to potentially trick a Wobbuffet or a Registeel or something else defensive. Volt Switch is really nice. He does not have a ground type, right? 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 No Volt Absorb either. So I can just Volt Switch all day long and create a Volt Turn Core with the Magirna. And I outspeed his Articuno. So that's really nice. Really, very nice. Regenerator because I can take a hit or two. Like I can come in on an Alakazam Psychic, maybe. Or I can come in on a Sur. Uh, one attack, and then Volt Switch out and get the Regenerator back. I almost ran Refrigerate, which is really nice, by the way, because Refrigerate Rapid Spin means I can spin on Ghosts. So that's cool. Anyway, he does not have an Elect uh, Ice Grass or a Ice a Bolt Beam Resist. Registill is his best way to handle this, but again, I have Dr. Lele, and hopefully, late game, I can come in and just spam Thunderbolt to win. That was my game plan, or one of them, because I have another Wink Con in the back. Anyway, I know what I am doing. He, we have our Flygon, Fur Coat, Yachi Berry. This is my answer to Infernape. I can take an Ice Punch and Oko with an uh, Earthquake. If he is not Focus, Alec at Focus Sash Alakazam, first impression with 36 attack IVs will, in fact, Oko it. I have enough speed for stuff and things. Potentially the mini or uh, maybe a mini or spread. Hmm. Adamant Mega Gyarados. That's what it is. Right, right. Good at Pokemon. U turn because Volt turn is awesome, and I can get in top of Lele. And if I don't think that I can set up yet, I can just click Psychic and hurt something. Physically defensive is very nice for Ursaring and Fur Coat makes me bulky as shit. And I roost so I can stay healthy. I know how to Pokemon. That's my Flygon. Fur Coat Flygon is bulky as hell. Anyway, on to our final, on to my uh, major win con, which is going to be Rhyperior with a solid rock ability so I can potentially take an Iron Head from Jirachi or Registeel. And if I don't get flinched, which I shouldn't from the Registeel because I'll be faster, most likely. Or I can uh, take hits better, and I didn't really need another uh, ability. And Rock Polish Superior actually just d dominates him. Superior cannot take a Mega Horn. Doesn't want to take a Rock Slide either if it's low enough. Infernape does not want to take an EQ. Me Mega Gyarados dies to a uh, Mega Horn, but he does not have to Mega first turn, so I'm going to have to play the Rock Slide versus Mega Horn game, which is going to be absolutely annoying. Ursaring can't take a hit. Alakazam can't take a hit. Registeel cannot take a hit. Tentacruel, well, Registeel can't take a hit, but not well. Tentacruel can't take a hit. Minior dies to Rock Slide, and I'm running Rock Slide over Stone Edge because the important things I need to hit with it will die to Rock Slide, or a Life Orb Rock Slide, and I don't need to risk Stone Edge because God knows that I will miss that move. Wobbuffet, uh, get a bit of chip damage off on that, cannot take a Mega Horn. Articuno dies to Rock Slide, does actually dies to rock throw, but Cradilly weakened does not take an EQ. Healthy does not take a Mega Horn. Jirachi dies to Earthquake. I have enough out uh, I have enough out speed to speed with a what is this? 187, so I go to 374. So I outspeed and I max speed Alakazam. That is my team. I'm doing really good at Pokemon. I'm tired of shit because I've been working six days. So we are bringing a Shookaberry Magirna. We are bringing our Subtail Globe, a Berry Berry Tapu Lele, Choppleberry Snorlax, because why not have all the berries? I have four berries on this team. I just realized that. Whoops. Oh well. Choice Garf Rotom. 
Physically defensive Flygon, Rhyperior. Hopefully that's in my mind. This is the worst team builder I've ever done. Hope you guys enjoyed, or not. Whatever. Peace.